it's quick our talk time hello and welcome this is episode 22 um, six months later yeah here we are I know I know we have been very bad with frequently up loading episodes we have been uh, again the main excuse of course is that we have to be consistent and timely with uh, other things we had to take care of the students from last term with their final assignments on top of that now we are in heavy preparations uh, for the upcoming term which thankfully me and Derek now also have help from other people so everything should go smoother and smoother anyway today uh, I wanted to do a quick episode with you guys about the importance of doing studies. Five reasons. Five reasons why studies should not be neglected. First, f for those of you who are extremely new into concept design, art, illustration, let's just first define what studies are. Well, overall, we know what studying means. In art, however, the term studies or studying or doing a study is uh, taking an existing image and it can be drawn from life it can be drawn or sketched or painted from a photograph or an existing painted by another artist um, and then you recreate it with the intention of gaining skill that you might use then for later usage for your final piece for um, your further overall development it's an extremely important aspect that we uh, do in our uh, in, in our program, especially the intro classes are mainly focused on doing studies on top of having, of course, you know, our own um, calibrated lecture program for the best knowledge channeling. Studies are something that uh, we we talk about we uh, let our students do it we do it ourselves live both Derek and me are very very uh, strict on doing them in class as well um, and 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 at the same time keeping the interaction with our students so they also understand what we are doing here well this is of course a, um, a recorded video from class this is basically well you see a walkthrough but you don't hear me explaining on the fly in full detail um, what is being done uh, what my exact thinking process is etc nevertheless we are still able to you know have these episodes in a in a timely short time frame so we can still cover some of the tips and reasons why you should do these things why you should do studies so you can try it yourself at home or in preparation for our term or for preparation for a term on a different school doesn't matter we are doing this so that the upcoming generation of concept artists and illustrations illustrators have um, have a head start a little bit right so they know where to start we we find that a lot of uh, upcoming concept artists are you know they have the potential they are skilled but I understand that the amount of uh, misguidance is clear right we we are seeing right now an oversaturation of uh, materials uh, and, and lectures and it is sometimes very hard where to begin how to start learning right like should I start you know how to paint a rock should I start following this artist of how to paint lips how to paint an eye how to paint a human um, start by embracing design and start by observing the world on its own as it is and from there pick things preferably which you are passionate about and then start studying it right so in this example here you see a sketch of an armored fighting vehicle from the second world war i might talk a little bit later about it to kind of immerse ourselves in what we are doing here but first and for all let's start with reason number one why you should do studies right and that is to train your drawing skills that's right when was the last time and be honest with yourself when was the last time you sat down at least on a weekend and just drew straight for at least six hours right we don't have the time we find excuses we you know but in the end if you are about you know reaching that goal and making concept art your dream job then you have to commit 
the hours, right? And of course, there is, uh, you know, brutal force learning and efficient learning. We like to mix both, although I find that, you know, efficiency is extremely important. Nevertheless, you have to put in the hours, right? Just by starting, just by picking up that pencil, beating that f th these first seconds, it's not only minutes, actually, if you if you discipline yourself to pick up a pencil every day and to draw at least two, three hours, you will see that you will like it more, you'll spend more time doing it. Um, because the reason why we procrastinate or delay or don't start at all is because, well, let's be honest, we are kind of afraid that we will fail. However, failure is part of the whole process, right? There is no other way by improving that coordination uh, between your brain and your hand. There's no other way to do it than just by sitting down and draw, paint, sketch, right? This is the number one skill kind of that we use as concept designers to dynamically output ideas, right? Before we use fancy 3D tools, rendering tools, etc., etc., photo bashing, right? Th that is that is of course all of great importance, but if you cannot, for example, just sit down and as an experienced concept designer flash out ideas in a quick painting or a quick drawing, uh, you will probably have a very hard time in the industry. And uh, well, we we kind of witnessed it uh, within the industry. I have I have worked with people um, that were and good in drawing, good at painting. They were good at everything. And then there were also good concept artists that were good in only photo bashing or only good in 3D, well, they are like snipers then, you know? I'm not saying it's not possible, but it becomes very hard for them to, for example, adjust to a new topic, right? Or to make ideas on the fly. Um, we believe that it is an extremely fundamental skill to never forget um, how to draw. Also, if you look at all the successful concept artists that, you know, are the forefathers of concept art, right? You look at the best designers, right, um, of, of our, you know, modern time, right? Um, uh, one example would be Sid Mead, of course, um, Frank Fazetta, Feng Zhu. What, all, what they all have in common is that they, they, they can all draw. Like, this, it's like walking for them, right? There is, it is extremely, it's an extreme, it's extremely important to never forget that drawing is, you know, one of the main skills and it m sets you actually free as a designer. You're not limited by any any fancy tools. You're not limited by uh, any kind of software or you are not restricted to a high end machine. You can always do it even on a fucking napkin. Right. That's the whole point. Design on the fly, sketch on the fly, be dynamic. Right. So that's why we uh, that's why we think it is extremely important to studies. It trains the coordination as well, right? So that is the well, that was the main reason. Um, let's go to uh, number two, which will be train your fundamental skills, right? So the drawing coordination itself is maybe uh, the 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 number one fundamental skill, arguably. But what we also mean by the other fundamental skills is like what goes beyond drawing and, you know, fancy, nice controlled lines and brush strokes is knowing how our physical world works in order so you can portray on the canvas um, what is going on, what you're actually drawing, right? In the end, drawing, painting, sketching, you are just making an illusion, right? Uh, it's kind of like magic if you think about it, right? You look on a flat canvas and if someone draws extremely well, you see depth in that drawing. You see a certain object. You can immerse yourself almost sometimes as if you are there. And it's, uh, well, to me, it will always be, of course, you know, both from an artistic uh, point of view, it will be always beautiful uh, to me and both from a designer point of view, it will be beautiful to me. Uh, on an artistic, um, on a, from an artistic point of view, it is beautiful because, well, I can feel the physicality, I can immerse myself. When, when a drawing is, for example, made in such a way that I can really tell what is going on and I can feel, you know, it's placed in 3D space, then artistically it feels good. From a designer's point of view, 
uh, if it communicates well, if I can see the shapes, if I see the function, that gives me a lot of information. And uh, the people that you will end up working with, um, like 3D modelers, riggers, animators, they will love you for being not for not only making pretty pictures, but functional, nice drawings, right? And in this example, in this demo, I was also explaining in class how that visual communication go. You see the fender, like on the, on the bottom left, you see the fender of level zero, level one, uh, level two, level three. You see that level without the number, so I call it just level zero, is just, you know, a flat piece of paper almost, right? This is how beginner artists will put the fender. Then level one, we start to put in the thickness. So you give more information more visual information in the drawing, what is actually happening. But then um, a more skilled artist will find that the edges over there are way, way too schematic, right? So you start to find down these edges, you start to use thicker edges where shadow would go or where the, uh, where the contour of the, of the shape ends and you use thinner edges on, on bevels and, and more rounded shapes, right? So that is, uh, that is a good example of being able to do training your fundamentals and communicating it, right? Perspective, again, another one that we, uh, that we cover extensively. Uh, also, also not only in the, in, the, in the hardware class, but Direct's environment class also extensively covers how to tackle perspective on a grander scale, right? Vehicles have tinier details. They can come, you know, in tricky shapes. Like for example, the, the track links on this tank were very hard to do. Also, when we were reviewing the homework, um, we talked a long time how to tackle all these round shapes and all these difficult objects from all angles to make it look uh, good. Um, on the other hand, buildings, for example, they have they are grander in scale. They have this ornaments, this decoration, these decorations. They all have their own um, uh, challenges, but all abide to the same rule, right? Fundamental skills. It really trains your fundamental skills to just sit down, make uh, make studies. So make drawings, paintings, or sketches from real life objects, vehicles, architecture, people, creatures, everything, right? Um, then number three is, uh, well, actually going beyond art, right? Go beyond art and research the subject matter that you will study, right? So um, the number one, no, I don't want to call it a mistake. It's not a number one mistake, but one of the misguidances that we kind of hear or why people want to become a concept artist is, is uh, and, and this we hear we did this we hear all the time you know like dozens of submissions sometimes every day why people want to become a concept artist and then the answer is i like video games or i like films so but let's say i like video games and i like drawing um well that is really not enough right because the most successful movie the most successful video game in the end what are they doing on uh the the visual division right when it comes to their visuals right they always successfully capture what is so beautiful about our real world they rearrange it in an interesting way uh, they bottleneck certain aspects like for example uh, skyrim right 10th anniversary yay um for example skyrim extremely successful game why is it so successful, right? On And I'm just now talking about the visuals. There are, of course, other reasons, uh, maybe also some reasons why it's not so successful, but overall, very successful title. On the visual division, so to speak, they've been, they've been extremely successful, in my opinion, because I think they successfully captured a certain aspect in a certain time frame of our culture, right? Vikings, medieval times, um, Rome, some elements from the Roman Empire and they artistically fused it together so it fits into one world. Every single piece of landscape also is referenced from our real world but exaggerated, put together in an interesting way, right? So that we as players can relate to it and find it interesting to play and come back to it each and every time to have uh, yeah to have amazing uh, adventures in right so 
going back to going beyond art is for example when i'm studying a vehicle like this and i want for example and my aspirations are to become an extremely good concept artist that specializes in vehicles and hardware i need to have passion and interest what the real world has to offer the real world history about vehicles when was the first tank for example created what is the history the reason in what environment did it operate in um, these things will make you a richer more successful concept designer right when you're of course also researching the function of the vehicle then you as well know what you are drawing right and that leads me to tip number four or reason number four why you should draw is understanding versus seeing what you're drawing um, misconception about doing studies so for those of you who heard about it but again some people really think that is just uh, just you know redraw what you see i am very good at redrawing what i see so i will be a good concept artist well no so please listen out being able to redraw what you see is a good start but understanding uh, what you're drawing uh, besides seeing what you're drawing is extremely important right for example if you will be drawing this uh, armored vehicle for the first time right and you might do it i really encourage you to to do it uh, on your own but try to research it first try to maybe even buy a model kit or go to a museum and take in the proportions from all angles right don't only rely on one picture when you're making a study the reasons for that are extremely simple um, you know you have only one view so you don't you just lack the information of you know the rest of the vehicle the rear the top the bottom the 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 inside you know the you don't even perhaps know where the engine might be located so you are not aware of what this vehicle actually is and yet you're going to spend time drawing it let's keep you know the definition of studies intact and really try to understand and immerse ourselves in the subject matter just how later on you will immerse yourself in your own designs right your designs need to be as rich and as inspiring as the stuff from the real world because that is again what also attract uh, the audience right what is the reason for example why halo is successful fallout skyrim and all these titles that really have a specific art style right they all in the end capture elements from our real world so it is extremely important to know and understand what you're drawing right for example this tank uh, when I was drawing the track links, I know that each and every track link is a separate metal piece, right? It is not how, what some people might think. It is not a rubber band that goes around the, the, the wheelbase. These are metal pieces that are connected with, uh, with pins so that they can, you know, uh, well, rotate smoothly around the whole wheelbase, right? Where is the engine located? Well, in this case, it is on the back, in the rear of the vehicle, right? Here, I'm not uh, showing it in this example, but it is, it is vital and extremely important to know that when I'm doing studies, I also back myself up with orthographic views. So I have a flat on view of the side of the vehicle. I have a flat on view of the top, of the rear, of the front, so I can capture the proportions as well, right? capturing the proportions so you train your mind as well what the overall proportions of man-made vehicles are right many mistakes that i that we see reoccurring both in the environment class and the and the and the hardware design class is that the proportions are not being captured successfully by our, by our students in the beginning and well again this video is then maybe made so you can train and prepare yourself a little bit right so we can have the best outcome um, either way if you're planning to sign up or not you can i really encourage you to do it as well on your own right um, or to use that those tips for other classes for other schools that you want to assign to it's really important so what we what, what we sometimes um, see is that um, we have someone that draws really really well 
but then their proportions are off, right? So the wheels are kind of too big or the tracks are too wide. The cannon looks, you know, sometimes too, too small in comparison with the other shapes. So remember that it is extremely important to absorb what you see and observe in the real world, right? Um, it goes it goes beyond the importance of even you know knowing your fundamentals and drawing this is actually you know this comes down to observation skills right when you understand what you're drawing um, you really have to have proper strong observation skills at the same time right um, the track the track width for example measure it if you cannot sense it in 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 one go then look at the orthographic views and for example in this case the track width is for example one-fifth of the whole width of the tank right how high is the track base well approximately one half so keep this keep the keep that simple mathematical sheet in your hand and guide yourself with that right over time it will become more of a natural process at the beginning it can feel stiff and rusty that you really have to abide that you really have to watch out to not make certain shapes too big but you will see that your mind you basically the neurons in your brains that are responsible for kind of calculating these proportions and relationships between these shapes it will become easier and over time become second nature this study here for example i did not do any um, measurements this was all drawn on the go because again um, I've did it so many times as well, right? So um, well, when you're going to draw, for example, this, don't be afraid. Probably you're not going to have the same results, but you will have these results if you keep on doing it and keep on doing it effectively, taking these uh, tips um, into consideration, right? And uh, again, I can say that with a lot of confidence because we have seen it in class over and over again i've seen it in the in the full terms in the, in both directs and my classes that people sometimes start on a very low level and the end of the term they just go so much forward that yeah we are more and more confident to say that that it just works the methods uh, that we apply at school they just work right um so yeah, uh, let's um, let's go to point number five. Reason number five why, sh why you should always do studies on a regular basis. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner, doesn't matter if you already work in the industry. Um, I myself uh, found that it is extremely helpful to do studies on, uh, on a regular basis. The school uh, definitely helps me to do them on an even more regular basis. Um, I also heard Derek admitting that he also didn't do enough studies in his beginning days. Now he's doing it more and I even see that his drawing skills went up, right? And now he uses that as well in his professional um, career as well, right? So yeah, you see maybe the final output in our works and in other concept artists as you know nice 3d but the design process if you want to make many iterations within a short amount of time those drawing skills are extremely important so number five doing studies lays down a solid foundation like a super thick layer of ice that elevates you up so you can reach to all these subject matters and themes in an easier way right the layer of of the of, of of the fundamentals that you stand on becomes thicker and you solidify it you crystallize that knowledge and whatever might be thrown at you as a concept designer right you will be able to tackle and then you might say you might argue yeah but i want to be only a uh, a character concept uh, artist fine do it follow your passion but then there is also a reality check it is still a job you still need to pay bills you still need to pay for rent mortgage whatever um i don't know you become sick or your family members become sick you have to have you know a nice financial cushion so what what i advise to do is you know explore the spectrum of concept design a little bit wider than what your true passion is right my true passion is vehicle design however a good 
plus 60 percent of all my work is also environment design architecture design prop design and um, because i taught myself how to also execute it on the highest level and that's why clients come back to me to make these kinds of works so very very important that you do that and by doing studies on a, also on a wide range of topics will also help you to reach that also what we also teach in school is that we try to zip and see all the designs and uh, design as a one right everything has of course its uh, sub um, uh, it's it's sub design language right architecture environment design is of course different than hardware hardware design but there are fundamental similarities which you can guide yourself with right and now imagine for example scenario number uh, number two um, let's say you are working you have been hired in a studio as an environment uh, concept artist right and now they're looking for someone to do prop and vehicle designs and um, and now they have to go of course you know go through the whole process look again for more people um, they need to spend resources on recruiters but hold on you are a versatile concept artist so you what do you do you come up with a brilliant proposal to your art director or whoever you're reporting and say hey look i know that i've been hired for uh, this uh, for this reason and for that specific goal and I know that, you know, due to workload, you still mind another person. But I really would like to let you as well know that, you know, I can do this kind of stuff as well on the same level because I taught, I embrace design as a whole. That is the, that is the, one of the more, most important factors that we, uh, that we teach at school, especially uh, when, when we teach the whole full term, right? When the knowledge from class to class really goes uh really synchronizes with uh, one another right all right again don't forget to do studies i highly encourage you to try it yourself you now know the reasons why to do it i hope that i motivated you a little bit with it next time we will be back it might be me it might be Derek, it might be both of us we are definitely looking forward to do more of these uh, quick art talk times of course uh, maybe invite again other artists but uh, you know let's uh, let's say goodbye for now you stay healthy i heard that's very important to stay healthy and you guys take good care of yourself see you bye bye <laughs>